Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and today um, we have a special thing I usually don't do, an actual anime review. But as you see by the title, it is reviewing The Legend of the Heroes, which is one of my favorite video game series of all time, The Northern War. Um, sorry about the uh, infinite OBS thing, I don't have any like fancy transitions or anything here, so it's only one monitor so I can't do anything dual screen, but yeah, here you guys go. So. Um, initially, I actually did want to do an initial review from episode 1, but man, ho! Episode 1 was mid at best, and I didn't want to judge the entirety of the series, or at least give like a bad review of the series initially from episode 1, so I decided to wait a little bit. But as you see, we're four episodes in, and this is like, this is my third or fourth recording of this. Man, I just, I don't, I have nothing good to say about this series. And this is coming from a person that absolutely loves Sen no Kiseki. The ultimate issue with Sen, it's, it's not made, f the, the Northern War anime, it's not made for the general audience to watch. And it's not really, and it's more meant as a Easter egg sort of kind of thing with the, the, the hardcore audience. But even the hardcore audience doesn't see any point to this anime so far. Honestly, I'm trying to like the characters like I would with the game. I just cannot like anybody. Even the main character, Lavi, I, I just really can't sympathize with. And the ultimate issue is with the lackluster story and the lackluster characters. And we know the outcome of what happens in the anime. It feels like everything that's, that's going to happen here has no bearing as to what ultimately is going to be the fate of North Ambria. We know what happens to it because this takes place between Trails of Cold Steel 2 and 3. We know the outcome from 3 and 4. We know a little bit about what happened in, C in, in Cold Steel 2. Ultimately, none of this means too much. and It's more like uh, just an interlogue prologue or whatever you want to call it to the whole war. But ultimately, it just doesn't feel impactful. Nothing feel here feels it's worth your time. There's so many references. Episode 1 had the most action, which was barely anything at all. And everything up to episode 4 has been sort of a setup. And even then, you can just see how much they have to throw in Easter eggs from the video games in order to keep the, even the hardest of hardcore p players and fans of the series interested literally that you can start seeing the references in episode one but it slowly ramps up and you can really tell in episode three and episode four is literally just a reference an easter egg reference for everything and it's 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 rough it, it, it's really rough it, 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 that's that's literally the entirety of the anime is just references and it doesn't push or make you feel like you care about the characters Ultimately, even if Lavi were to fight, let's say, Reen at his peak in CS2, she would need to be way too powerful for what I think she's even capable of, even with her backstory. Reen at this point in time if at CS2, you can, you, can, you can make some arguments here or there that he isn't that strong. But he, and once again, he, he, he bested Lloyd. And oh, technically, they drew... At the end of CS2. So you would have to be able to be stronger than, than Lloyd. At that point in time. Which I don't think Lavi is at this at this point in time. And, and also. We know what's going to happen with the war. They're going to lose. At the end of the day. There's nothing they can. That there's nothing. Even with. Or, unless Orboros is. Once again. That's the whole big spoiler thing I guess. I, it's not really a spoiler. Since they show it off in episode 2. But they're being helped by Orboros. Orboros could have literally told them everything they need to know. The, the whole the whole plot of this of this anime is we have to find out who the Ashen Chevalier is. You have Lily Campanella in episode two who could have told you that from, from the start. So what was the whole point of this? The, the, they're trying to get the upper hand in the war. But at, at the same time, like what are they gonna they, they, they would they don't have anything that can even rival a divine knight at this point in time. Let alone any, for every, any, of, any of the sold out units. So, it, it's really, really rough. 
the anime. It, it is for sure. Um, I will definitely do a final review for the entirety of the series once it comes out. But man, if you guys were going to wait, if you guys were waiting waiting to see if this was good, I would hold off. I would I would hold off for now. Until the next one. Peace out.